looks like it is. All right. So I don't have any tripods or anything with me, so I have this weird configuration happening here. <laughs> Hopefully it looks okay. So this is not StreamYard, obviously, because um, you don't see my logo for um, Nomad Internet or any of this name on the bottom or any of that. Um, because I didn't know I was going to be here tonight in this hotel room doing this live. I thought I was going to be back in Mona, but it's all good. We're making it work. I've got it all propped up on some things that I had to sit on the floor to make it eye level. Anywho, um, hey Susan, hi Stephanie. Um, as the title has suggested, <laughs> is this the end of the road? Um, so if you're a channel partner, you already know what I'm finna say. <laughs> if you are not, then you are getting this news dropped on you. I am back in Virginia. I went all the way across country to South Dakota, <laughs> saw Mama Willow, saw my friend in Colorado, went to South Dakota, got the residency, all that, and then came back to Virginia. Um, this was something I had been thinking about doing in May of 2022, next year. But a bunch of stuff happened and when someone needs your help, needs you to be there, you kind of just do what you're supposed to do. This is the right thing to do. And there's some things for me that I need to figure out and work on and I need to be stationary to do those things. Um, I have not recovered um, financially from YouTube ever since being stationary since 2019. And I'm just not making any money on this platform. So I wanna get a job. I wanna save up some money. I want to have multiple streams of income that I can do on the road. And I feel like there's some things in my life that I need to figure out and I need to do that settled down somewhere where I can have stability and not be figuring out where I'm going to go and what's going to happen and dealing with weather and breakdowns of cars and that kind of stuff. Now, I enjoyed my trip. I really did. Um, it was murder on my body, which is another issue I'm having is my back and driving those long distances and stuff. So whether or not this is a permanent thing, I don't know. I know it's at least for the next couple of years. Um, and it could be that um, I just do some weekend warrior type stuff. Um, I am going to have to sell Mona to recoup some of the um, finances that I spent getting all the way out there because <laughs> it was a lot of money getting out there and back, a lot of money. And um, uh, my residency, like I said, my license for South Dakota, you're going to see that video. Don't worry. I have videos all the way through the end of August. So you guys will be getting your videos. If you're a channel partner, you're still going to be getting your beta. Um, just remember that the lives and stuffs um, don't count for your beta. Uh, I'm just doing betas on the days you don't get regular videos. So, excuse me. Um, there's just a lot going on in life and everybody can say that I know. So I just feel like this is the best move for me right now while I figure some things out. And there's a lot I can do on the East Coast as far as camping and traveling. So I'm not too worried about that. It's just um, finding like another minivan once I sell Mona, getting a little minivan, something I can use as an everyday driver and something I can camp out of um, when I do like a weekend trip or something like that. So. Um, the other bomb that I'm about to drop on you guys is <laughs> the channel. Um, I'm going to discontinue videos after this month. I'm not going to be doing any more videos on this channel after this month. Um, now, if I do a really cool trip somewhere, then I will throw the video up here. I'm not going to take the channel down. It's not going to go anywhere. And the videos will still be here for anyone who happens to stumble across my channel and wants to see those videos. The videos will still stay monetized. Um, but I don't want to be beholden to this channel 
when it's not really producing any kind of income for me. Um, and I don't do this just for income, but I got to make some money. <laughs> I mean, to do all this work and have put in all this effort, um, two videos a week, a live every Sunday, and, you know, and to not have any kind of beneficial monetary from it, it kind of, it stresses me out, really. It honestly does, because I'm constantly thinking about what videos and you know there's so much video footage that you guys don't see that i record because i'm like this is not a good video i'm not going to put this up there so and i do have my other channel which is not monetized it's just for fun it's not for everybody <laughs> so i'm gonna tell you that right now if you try to go over there and look it's not for everybody it's definitely an 18 and over crowd and i just put up there whatever i want and i'm not on anybody's schedule i don't make any money from it it's just me doing whatever it is I want to do up there so um, if you want to follow that fine if you don't that's cool too just know that you're not going to get any kind of scheduled videos anymore on this channel um, after the 31st is it 30 31 days this month I think it is um, oh yes it is <laughs> I should know that um, but yeah so yeah just want you guys to know that um, you will get videos soon through the end of this month, but after that, you probably won't see much of me over here on the Crystal Manor um, side of things. So just know I'm fine, I'm okay. Um, um, someone is saying YouTube has demonetized a lot of my content creators. Yeah, YouTube is really, I mean, <laughs> unless you're one of these big boys, like, hundreds of thousands of followers and i'm talking three three hundred thousand and up they really are not yeah because i'm i look back at when i was making like 1500 a month on youtube which is a doable amount to live on in van life i wasn't i didn't have nearly as many fall um subscribers i wasn't getting um you know well i was getting probably a little bit more views but yeah, the way they structure their, their you know, scale of how they pay content creators, it, it sucks and it's constantly changing and you're constantly working for the algorithm. It's not even fun anymore, honestly, to share stuff um, because if that is your source of income, it's really not fun. It really isn't because it's work recording, it's work um, editing, you know, because I have to make sure I'm doing something to even record. So it's like, it's not worth it to me. Um, I just want to share what I want to share and have it be fun and lighthearted. And if I don't want to share something for a month, then I don't have to share anything for a month because I'm not worried about that money. You know what I'm saying? So um, for those that are channel partners, you guys already know, um, I'm going to be shutting down YouTube memberships on um, YouTube here, um, but the Patreon memberships will continue, and I will post something there um, at least a few times a month, just some, you know, my Monday motivations will probably still be up and pop in every once in a while to say, hey, what's up, and I've taken billing off of Patreon, so um, people, you know, won't be billed there, but the content, you know, is still up there for you to see anytime you want to see it. And I'll pop in there a few times a month to uh, just drop stuff for them because you guys have just held me down so long and so well that I really um, want to make sure that you're getting a little something from me, but you won't be billed for it. Um, if you're going to be new to Patreon, you will be billed for that first uh, month, but then you won't be billed anymore because just to set it up, you'll be billed that $1. But YouTube memberships probably will be going away tomorrow. I'll probably go online tomorrow and take that down, YouTube memberships. Um, the other channel is the Hello Crystal 01 channel. Like I said, it's not for everybody. It's definitely raw. <laughs> I don't do a lot of editing over there, and it is more adult-oriented. So if that's your thing, you can jump over there and check those videos out. See if it's your thing or not. Um, but, yeah, I got to to figure out I got a lot there's a list internally in my head that I need to write down because there's so many things that I need to um, do um, I'm gonna try and get a job at um, 
Planet Fitness again because that was a fun job. I enjoy doing that. I want to do something I enjoy doing. I don't want it to feel like work. <laughs> but, um, and I'm probably only going to work part-time right now unless I absolutely have to work full-time. So, um, right now I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the title to come to Mona. Um, and then um, I will be moving into a place, this is a hotel room, but I will be moving into a place um, another week or so, a week and a half-ish, and um, then I can get everything moved out of Mona and get her prepped to sell. Um, that's the heartbreak. <laughs> but I don't, using that as an everyday vehicle is not, is not, it, it's not, it's, it's not, it doesn't make sense to have Mona as an everyday vehicle. And she has so much life in her and so much journey left in her that I want someone who's going to get out there and be on the road to have her. I want her to continue her journey. I, cause she, she was a champ, man. She made it to South Dakota and back with no issues. <laughs> not, not a one. Um, and uh, so I want her to continue her journey. She deserves it. She um, really deserves it. So I will, I will definitely do a video when, once that is ready. I will do a video um, and put a link of the ad for her for sale. So it would be, be great to have a Vanner fan or family member buyer. But I mean, it's not necessary. I just want somebody who's going to get out there and use her to get her, you know? She's got, like I said, she's got a lot of, lot of life left in her. And I want to see her out there in the road doing her thing and being a home to somebody. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. Um, I will give details to those on um, the channel partner side. You guys are getting those detail, more details in your VEDA this month. Um, you'll see when I get moved, um, I'll maybe take some video footage of the empty place. And the other channel will probably um, do some little footage of me, you know, some decorating and stuff like that because I got decorated on the budget. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I will do all that on the other channel just for fun here and there. Not, like I said, I'm not beholden to YouTube on that channel. Um, and I don't want to do that on this channel because that's not really what this channel is about because I had someone ask me, why don't you just do it on the Crystal Vanner channel and make money, just a little bit of money. That's really not what this channel is about. I want this channel to really be focused on the van life. And I want... I want um, whoever finds this channel later to be able to follow the journey, um, even this ending of the journey. I don't want to split, you know, um, content. You know, I don't want to all of a sudden go into this different content. I think it just doesn't make sense. And that's when I had the biggest drop is when we had to, the two times I ended up being stationary, you know, when I first got back here in 2019 and then when we got the rental um, in North Carolina for the winter, this past winter, like that was the biggest drop in, excuse me, excuse me, whew, subscribers, I just ate pizza, sorry, the cheese is coming back to haunt me, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate, I'm reading you guys' comments as I'm talking, so I really appreciate all of the love, and I knew you guys would be like that, because that's how y'all, that's how y'all roll, so I appreciate all the love, um, plus y'all know I got my boo thing, <laughs> Um, that's why I came back to this part of Virginia. I'm not, I'm not home in Northern Virginia. I'm in this part of Virginia, being the like Virginia Beach, Newport News, Hampton area. So, you know, I'm here with my baby. <laughs> but um, so I'm not alone. So that's a good thing. I'm not doing this by myself, and I've got support. So that makes it easier. Um, in, in many ways, because if I was trying to navigate it all alone, it would really be difficult um, to do and figure things out. But at least I'm not alone and I have a support system kind of already built in, so I'm happy about that. So he's got my back. Um, will my what still be available? You, I think you did a typo there. Exactly, Gigi. She says, I seem happy and that's important. I'm, I am quite happy with this decision. Um, I wasn't 100% sure when I turned around to come back to Virginia. I thought it was going to just be to do one specific thing 
and then maybe a month or two and then get back on the road. So, um, but now I think it's best that I just sit still and figure some stuff out for real, for real, and not wing it um, on the road and figure it out on the road. I want to really buy some land, you know, and so this is not going to make that happen, just little piddly bits of money. <laughs> um, and I want to work and save and I want to, I want to buy some land. I want to buy, um, you know, a rig that's going to be like the final rig. I don't want to keep buying, you know, little rigs here and there and another one and another one and another one. I want to buy my last and final rig when I get my land. I want to get, you know, a shipping container and put on there and make that my, my actual, um, home base. You know, there's things I want to do and, you know, I turned 50 this year, so there are things you start thinking and contemplating. Okay, so in five years and in 10 years, you know, how's this going to look? So there are just things that I need to fall into place and do. And to make that happen, you know, it requires money in this country. So <laughs> you got to do that. Um, yeah, I'm not getting, the store will still be up, the Teespring store, if you guys are saying merchandise. Yeah, that will still be up. I saw somebody type that in. Yeah, I'm not going to get rid of that. The website will still be up. Um, it'll all be it'll all be good. Um, I thought Arizona... I thought Arizona live there and work without selling Mona. Live there. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I want to stay where I am. I want to stay here because, like I said... There's other stuff that I'm not going to announce to anybody that's more private that I need to kind of be in Virginia to work out. And um, those things require me to be in this particular state. Um, and those are really personal things. Um, if you know, then you know. There are a few people on this live that know what I'm talking about because they're actual more than subscribers, they're actual real life friends. So, um, I don't get into that kind of stuff on video, but yeah, there's some stuff that requires me to be kind of in Virginia that I'm hoping will also get worked out at some point while I'm here and, um, I'm able to navigate that from this part of the country that I could not necessarily do if I was in Arizona or on the west side of the country. Um, thanks so much for all the love. Um... No, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for um, all your well wishes. Um, this is the regular YouTube live, so I have to scroll on the screen. Like I said, I did, I thought I was going to be back in Mona this evening. Um, unapologetic. Sad to see you leave, but do what you have to for your mental and physical well-being. We'll miss you. So many people were inspired by you. You did what you had to, and now do you. Yeah, I mean, everything changes for everybody. Um, uh, it's just timing and um, where your mindset is, what steps you have to take, like all that. There's so many factors involved in this decision that I had to stop and think um, what would be best for me. Um, Oh, Patrick is giving his love to Miss V. Andre wants to know what I missed. <laughs> You're gonna have to watch the replay. <laughs> um, I don't think she's on the live. Um, she, as far as I know, is still out west. So she is doing her thing out there. Uh, I believe Nevada, maybe. CD says a lot. A co the COVID thing is really messing a lot of things up for people, altering the future for so many. Um, that's not really necessarily part of my reasoning, but I do see people trying, you know, staying stationary more so now because, you know, numbers are coming back up and people are really out there. This, um, <laughs> Gwendolyn said no more Freaky Friday. <laughs> you know, I might be tempted to move Freaky Fridays over to the other channel since it really is a more adult oriented channel. 
I will think about that, but give me a couple of months. <laughs> give me a couple of months to get moved in to the apartment and settled in. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want that. Maybe every other month or every three months or something. I don't know. Like, give, me a, give me a few months to think about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, follow me on the other channel and, and I'll announce something over there if I plan on doing it. But give me a couple of months to get settled, you know. It's like, oh, let me, let me get settled in. It's going to at least through... What is this? This is this is August. We don't move in until August, so September. Give me to at least October or something to figure out if I want to do Freaky Fridays again. Because that, that really is not even on my mind at this point. Um, yeah, it's... Whew, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, Valerie says put stuff for the new place on Amazon wish list. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I don't think... No, I don't think there's any small things that we necessarily need. Because um, we've already looked at everything. We've already kind of window shopped here and there. And I think we're good on that. Because there's stuff in Mona that can be used in the house too. So I think I'm okay. But I if, if by chance, I, yes, I did say we, Daryl. <laughs> I, I know what I said. Yes, I did say that. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that'll be good. Oh, that's sweet. I appreciate that. Yes, you can keep in touch. Email's not going anywhere. Um, oh, is it Patrick's birthday? Happy birthday, Patrick! <laughs> um, yeah, email is still good to go. Um... Instagram, the Crystal Vayner Instagram, I'm probably not going to really post too much to that. Not that I do already. Um, honestly, I'm just kind of shifting everything over to the Hello Crystal 01. So that has an Instagram, that has a TikTok, um, and that has a YouTube. So find me under that if you want to keep in touch. But the Crystal Vayner email is not going anywhere. I will answer those emails. Don't worry about that. You can email me there anytime. But, um, cause there's, I don't think I have a Hello Crystal 01 email. I don't think I made one Gmail for that. I probably should though, huh? So, yeah. So while it's the end of full-time van life for me, I'm gonna just downsize to a weekend warrior. So I'll be living in sticks and bricks for the next couple of years. Maybe more, don't know. Um, and... I will find some sort of minivan that I can camp out of. You guys know I lived almost three years in Not Your Mama's Van. She was a minivan and I loved it. So weekend, worry, weekend warrioring will be no problem whatsoever <laughs> to, to just do a weekend trip in a minivan will be like, you know, the Taj Mahal after living in one for almost three years with all my stuff. So just doing a two to four day trip in one will be, excuse me, no problem whatsoever so yeah i'll be fine i'll be good to go so but i will let you guys know i will post the video and link to the marketplace um or craigslist and or craigslist ad once i'm ready to sell mona i have to get the title from south dakota first so i can't wait for you guys to watch the south dakota um residency video that's coming at the end of this month because it was such a smooth smooth um, process so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that helps someone because I know um, the only videos that I was able to find were earlier this year and there was a bunch of talk about them stopping the residency for full-timers and I got nervous about being able to do it so I'm excited that I, I was able to do it last month and had no issues doing it so um, I think someone is, um, no, it's not Hello Crystal Banner. <laughs> um, I can't really type. Can you type in there? It's, babe. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It's just Hello Crystal 01. There's no banner. <laughs> so the Hello Crystal 01 is my actual, was my personal YouTube and my personal Instagram that I had before Crystal Vanner. So those had been um, 
kind of revamped and switched. So it's not an adult channel. <laughs> But it's there. It's just Hello Crystal 01. There's no banner in it. The it's if you scroll up. Can I pin this? I don't know if it's gonna let me. Uh, no. It won't let me. It won't let me pin it. That sucks. But um all right. I think that's it. I was only going to be on here for like 20 minutes, I said, to drop this bomb on you guys and answer a few questions. Susan says, could you make money outfitting other people's vans for those who are not handy but want to be full-timers? They bring you their van. You know, that'd be, that would be awesome if I had a space to do that in. I personally don't have like a house or land to be able to do that in. And I'm not necessarily handy because I've never really built any of my vans if you go back and look i did no build builds um the most i did was make a platform for a bed but i definitely don't mind helping people out and i wouldn't mind um doing that if someone wants to reach out to me and can you know get to this area and we can you know hang out at a campground or something or do a no build build or I would, I can just walk you through what I would do if it were my vehicle type thing. But I feel like people really have to live in their vehicles first before they get to building. A lot of people don't realize that. You see how many times I redid stuff because one, because I like doing it. But two, sometimes things just don't work out the way you think they are once you do them. But I don't mind giving out advice or sharing thoughts. That's definitely something I would not mind doing but anyway you will see more we'll talk more next Sunday uh, I'll do another live next Sunday and um, if I don't do one next Sunday because may or may not be moving in that day I'll do it the last Sunday of the month you'll get one more live from me at the very least but you've got lots of videos coming every Tuesday and Thursday for the rest of this month and if you are a channel partner you have your VEDA all month long and then switch over to Patreon if you are a YouTube um, channel partner because those are going to be cut off probably tomorrow and um, jump on over to the Patreon one and just sign up for the dollar one. Don't do anything more than that because um, it's going to bill you ahead. Uh, it's going to bill you for the first month, then billing is cut off. Um, but to set it up, it's going to charge you that dollar. So anyway, I love you guys so much. I will see you. But in the meantime, don't forget to be good to yourself, be kind to others, and whatever you're doing, enjoy it. <laughs>